In this episode, we have a battle between two rising stars in the crypto space, Casper Network versus the XDC Network. Now, if you're new here, we will compare these chains across five criteria, community engagement, performance, unique innovations, accessibility, and adoption potential. My job is to simply rate each chain across the five criteria, and at the end of the video, it is up to you to decide who wins. The chain with the most votes in the comments will advance to the next round. Let's get right to it. The Casper Network was founded in 2020 by Meta Parlikar and Reno Monahar. They both have extensive backgrounds in software development and traditional finance. They built the Casper Network as a proof of stake blockchain with a twist. It has a particular CBC specification that makes the chain super upgradable. More on that in round three. The XDC network was founded in 2017 by Ritesh Kakad, Atul Kakade, and Karan Bardwaj. Before XDC, Ritesh worked as a tech entrepreneur for some of India's largest firms. Atul is the head engineer behind XDC, and he guides up and coming platforms on the XDC network. This matchup is intriguing because both these chains are relatively new, making them what I like to call Generation 2 cryptos. So when we lay it all out on the table, which one of them is better? In the community category, we look at all time active addresses and social media engagement thanks to Lunar Crush. Starting with XDC, as of April of this year, the total active addresses sit at 884,000. Social media engagement in Q1 was 172 million. For Casper, according to Casperstats.io, the total active addresses are 112,000. Social media engagement for Q1 was 123 million. So with eight times more accounts and slightly stronger social media activity, XDC takes round one. For Casper, their all time high was $1.36 in May of 2021. Return on investment to date is 80%. Peak transaction volume is 783 million from May of 2021, and transaction speeds clock in at 156 transactions per second. XDC Network's all time high is 19 cents, set in August of 2021. The return on investment is 1400%. Peak transaction volume is 42 million in March of 2021, and transaction speed on the XDC Network sits at 2000 transactions per second. In this round, we have a split decision. Casper takes the all-time high and peak transaction volume category, while XDC has a higher return on investment and transaction speed. So our score is XDC 2, Casper 1. Even though both these assets are fairly young, they still provide brand new innovations to the market. For Casper, they use the CBC or Correct by Construction specification. Essentially, it's a three layer system. Layer one establishes the fundamentals. Layer two would enforce those fundamentals. The final layer where transactions occur and applications live, apply those fundamentals to verify activities on chain. This setup is very efficient and secure. It ensures that the conditions of the network are stable and developers have a large data pool to source information from that has already been verified. At the core of the XDC network is the delegated proof of stake consensus. With typical proof of stake setups, the stakeholder network is spread amongst all holders of the token or coin, with the majority of the governance coming from the biggest account holders. Even though the approach is more decentralized, it brings with it several security issues. With delegated proof of stake, XDC elects masternodes that handle that work on behalf of the entire network. The minimum to run a masternode is 10 million XDC and there are only 267 masternodes available. XDC is one of 33 chains with this distinct consensus structure, so there is no argument here. Both of these chains are definitely bringing a lot of innovation to the market, giving the green check mark to both of them, making our score after three rounds, XDC 3, Casper Network 2. XDC has multiple top tier exchange listings. 
It's featured on many cold storage wallets and has several native wallets on the network. XDC also has various applications where the token can be used for multiple services from e-commerce to NFTs. For Casper, I'll admit they have a bit of a handicap here, but in the short time they have been on the market, they have achieved two top tier listings, they have native wallets in development, but another unique feature of the Casper network is the ability to create your own wallet without coding experience. But due to the broader reach of the XDC network, they have to get the green check mark for this round. I am very curious to see what happens though with that wallet creation feature for Casper. Our score as we head into the final round, XDC 4, Casper Network 2. When it comes to adoption potential, Casper has a ways to go before it catches up to XDC. However, I have no doubts that it could happen. Between July 2019 and January 2021, they received nearly $30 million in funding from top VCs like Arrington XRP, Hashkey, and GSR. Since then, IBM, Covalent, and Ledger have joined their ecosystem. Another achievement that makes me keep an eye on Casper, in February 2021, it was announced that they were chosen to join China's blockchain-based services network. This is a very significant group because China has a very tight grip on which chains they choose to operate with. In the case for XTC, the two biggest cards on the table are ISO compatibility and trade finance. With ISO, this adoption will happen gradually. It's a standard feature that must be included to plug into the legacy system. On the trade finance side, we have a multi-trillion dollar industry that is yet to be touched by the digital age. You see, a very crucial figure joined the XDC network in the summer of 2020. Andre Kasterman, former head of trade finance for SWIFT, became an advisor to the XDC network. With his 20 years of trade experience, he created the trade finance initiative in collaboration with the ITFA. This puts the XDC network in front of the world's leading trade organizations as a potential solution to a $30 trillion problem. So by comparison, you guys know which way I'm leaning, XDC gets the green check mark here, but I do not doubt Casper Network for a second, especially if they lean into that Chinese relationship. With that, our final score is XDC5, Casper Network 2. XDC takes the points, but in this competition, the winner is decided by you. The chain with the most votes in the comments will advance to the next round. You can catch up on the rest of the first round matches here. As always, I'm Wade Teamer. If that money is digital, so is the hustle. I'll see you in the next battle.